Hello my beautiful family, welcome back to my channel. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, Alex Rodrigues here and family. Today I have a request to react. This is Shaitan's plan during Ramadan. Yes. Thanks so much, thanks for all the links, message, support, love you all. Well, let's see what this ugly piece of crap is playing and let's pay attention for that all right don't let uh, this crap trick you and get in your mind and don't forget I always put a lot ahead of everything you're gonna be fine so let's do this happy Ramadan family My brothers and sisters, in the previous episode, we saw how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beautifully blames shaitan for what happened to Adam alayhi salam. This goes to show that human being is actually good, but shaitan is bad. When you see people doing bad things, always remember the devil had a role to play in making them do that which was bad. So have hope in the person that if they can uh, protect themselves from shaitan, then they would definitely be a lot of hope for them. And at the same time, their hearts would heal. Their situation would improve. The same applies to all of us. So don't judge a person based on the sin they've committed. Rather help them come out of it if you truly care. If you're a person who is loving of Allah, you would love goodness for the creation of Allah. The first thing should not be a negative thought in your heart. It should be a positive thought towards people who might not be on the straight path. For this reason, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, kept praying for those who were astray. And yes, while some deserved punishment for injustices they perpetrated, remember he prayed for them and he was never unjust himself. So one thing that is very powerful is Allah says to Adam. I just Adam, loved what he said and the way he, that he explained everything. Just amazing. That in order to protect your progeny from shaitan, in verse number 38, Allah says, I will send you guides and messengers, your progeny. And every time a messenger comes with a message, whoever follows the guidance will be protected from shaitan. For them will be goodness. They will have no reason to fear nor to be sad. Every time guidance comes from me, whoever is going to follow that guidance will have no reason to, uh, you know, to be fearful, nor will they have reason to be sad. Amazing. So if you want healing, follow what Allah has revealed. You won't be sad and you won't have reason to be sad or, uh, subhanallah, to be fearful, to be scared. No need to be fearful. You know, some of the best days we're ever going to live. In fact, the best day for me would be the day I'm going to meet with Allah because we've heard how merciful He is and we're trying on earth to be the best possible version of ourselves. We've faulted. Adam alayhi salam has faulted. Allah forgave him and told us, I'll continue forgiving you for as long as you realize you've done something wrong. You feel that you did something unacceptable. You sought forgiveness from me and you tried your best never to do that again. Amazing. Subhanallah. Once that happens and it means you believe in Allah. When you believe in Allah, there is hope. A lot of hope. Hope for the day that I'm going to meet with Allah. Hope for the day that I'm going to die actually. Subhanallah. A lot of hope. People may miss me, but just for a short period of time because Allah will unite them with us in a very short period of time. And we will be together for everlasting bliss. The promise of Allah. Why should I doubt that promise? It's Allah. When we doubt, we don't have the contentment. When we doubt, we will never heal. 
as we've said in the past. So this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about Adam alayhi salam, Allah tells us about shaitan, and Allah says, the guidance we will send to you and follow it. Then Allah makes mention in Surah uh, Al-Baqarah, verse number 40, of Banu Israel, the children of Jacob, the children of Yaqub alayhi salam. Allah says to them more than once in the Quran, يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ اذْكُرُوا نِعْمَتِيَ الَّتِي أَنْعَمْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ O children of Israel, Israel meaning the Prophet Jacob. O children of Jacob, may peace be upon him. Allah says, remember the favor of mine upon you. اُذْكُرُوا نِعْمَتِي الَّتِي أَنْعَمْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ Remember my favor that I favored you with. Now this was at a time when they were going through hardship and difficulty and also at times when they just came out of the hardship and difficulty. Allah is telling those who have just come out of or who are in hardship say that remember the favors I bestowed upon you. So many things I've given you. Think about them. I've given you a lot. My brothers and sisters in thinking about the gifts of Allah during times of hardship there will be a lot of healing. Yes. When you wake up breathing healthy, this is the best gift that Allah uh, can give us on this earth, of course. And uh, that's, at least for me, this is enough, you know. Uh, me and my family wake up um, healthy, you know. It's the best gift. Uh, that I can, you know, can have. Thanks Allah for that. And there will be much hope. Allah has given me in the past so much. Allah has given me right now that which I haven't asked Him for. I'm breathing, I'm looking, I'm smelling, I'm eating, I'm drinking, I'm clothed. I can, subhanAllah, I have so many favors upon me. Allah has given me the deen, He's given me faith, He's given me conviction to a great degree. May He strengthen it for me. And He's given us certain number of family members. He may have taken some away, but we still That's have life, something. Yeah. Even if He's taken everyone away from around you, He's still given you the life. He's given you some form of ability. Don't sit back and give up. Because if you give up, that is a source of hopelessness. But when you stand up, look at what you have and go for it. Go for the improvement. Keep trying. Don't ever give up. You lost a job. No problem. Keep going and trying for a better job and a better job. And you trust Allah. He will give you a much better job, either in terms of recompense or in terms of condition, or it's better for you. It might be a stepping stone to something beyond your imagination. But don't give up. So Allah says, remember the favors we bestowed upon you. And we have blessed you, Allah says. So although this verse is revealed to the children of the Prophet Jacob, may peace be upon him, the lesson is for all of us how to heal. We heal by remembering the favors of Allah upon us when we're going through hardship. And by remembering the favors of Allah upon us when we're in days of ease. So what that would mean is, oh, I was going through so much of difficulty. Look, Allah favored me. Look where I am today. Almost all of us, if we look at our forefathers, they had far less True. than what we have. Today we have much more, but we are less content. So if you are to look at that carefully, you would realize Allah wants you to look back and appreciate how far you've come. Even though you may not have everything you want or you think you want or you think might be beneficial for you. But Allah says, haven't we given you so much already? Haven't we taken you out of so much? Thank Allah. Thank Him. For indeed in gratitude, there is healing. In gratitude, there is increase of goodness. In gratitude, there is minimizing of the negativity. Subhanallah. All of that in it, there is hope and healing. My brothers and sisters, these are amazing verses. This series and the title of it is so beautiful because myself going through these verses, it just brings a smile to the face. How merciful is my Lord? How great He is? How much He has bestowed upon you and I? 
how much we have. But unfortunately, shaitan comes to us and keeps on making us think of the negatives and the bad and what we don't have and so on. And he wants us to become hopeless. He wants us to think that Allah has not given us anything. But Allah says, you need to ponder, reflect, go back, go back a few generations, check where they were, look at how things have progressed. And yes, you must be going through some form of test because we have to test you. And we test the best of our soldiers with the greatest of the tests. May Allah protect us. So when you're going through a lot, remember it's the love of Allah. You know, people who don't believe say that's absurd, but it's not absurd because the amount of goodness that comes out of it. We've seen so many people start praying. We've seen so many people change their lives because of hardship they're going through. We've seen so many people turn to Allah because of difficulty they have. We've seen so many people start doing the right thing and making peace with others because of so much of negativity that's been happening in their lives. But Allah wants you to prolong that sometimes. So at times it takes a while. You cannot have displeased Allah for 20 years and suddenly in five days you expect That's the true. tables to turn. It might take a few years, it might take a few months and if you're lucky, it could change in five days. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that comfort. So that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, remember the favor upon you. Then in verse number 43, once again, he tells us, وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَارْكَعُوا مَعَ الرَّاكِعِينَ Fulfill your prayer, establish it, give alms to the poor and uh, bow down with those who are bowing, which means collectively try to bow down with those who are bowing. Look after the others. We spoke about praying and establishing prayer. We spoke about giving charities to the poor. Reaching out to those who have less than you is definitely a means of healing. And then Allah says, try and do it collectively. Bow down. Do good with the others who are doing good. You're not the only one. So reach out to the others. Look at them. Try and do good. May Allah bless all of us. Well, I just love this channel. It's so amazing content always. Family, uh, that is not, you know, a lot to say. If you paid attention for this, you know, he explained very well. Um, it's like a guidance you know it is a guidance to life it's not uh, about uh, shaitan's plan everything else like we have the title here it's guidance to life and you have at least to try to do that what we learn here and Allah wakba uh, always put Allah ahead of you trust him no matter what happened always uh, search for him that he will never disappoint you i guarantee that and thanks so much uh, i hope you guys enjoy this video pay attention and try to do what they teach it here that was just amazing thanks so much love you all allah bless you all and I see you guys next time thank you